Hello everyone, my name is Paul McGuire Grimes, Eddie, and Eddie Murphy stars in the new film Dolomite Is My Name. It's now streaming on Netflix and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. The new movie Dolomite Is My Name is based on a true story and in it, Eddie Murphy plays Rudy Ray Moore, who does it all. He sings, he dances, he does stand-up comedy, and works at a record store. He's still searching for his big break into show business after being rejected countless times. He hears stories and jokes from homeless people in his community and then turns them into a character named Dolomite. His off-color and vulgar language gets some acclaim, leading Rudy Ray to making a movie out of his new persona. This was written by the team of Scott Alexander and Larry Karaszewski, who are no strangers to uh, these Hollywood stories, having written Ed Wood, Man on the Moon, and The People vs. Larry Flint. It's directed by Craig Brewer. Now, you know you're in for a treat when this movie opens with a scene between Eddie Murphy and Snoop Dogg. The energy between them is electric and paved the way for the groovy good time ahead. It's also apparent in this scene that this is the kind of role that's been missing from Eddie Murphy's career over the last 20 years, as he's generally favored family movies to make success. Now, Eddie Murphy has the dual role of crafting who Rudy Ray Moore is while differentiating him between the Dolomite persona. He can easily tap into his natural talents of being an entertainer and stand-up comic. It's a full force performance as he's always on, giving 100% energy at every move, trying to prove himself. Now, while it calls back to the early days of Murphy's career, we see the age and the deeply passionate drive he gives to Rudy Ray, like it's beneath the surface of the flashy alter ego. Now, this isn't just an Eddie Murphy movie, as there's a gifted ensemble behind him, including Keegan-Michael Key as the screenwriter coaxed into writing the Dolomite movie. Titus Burgess as, uh, stars as Rudy Ray's friend and co-worker, and Wesley Snipes is the flashy director of the Dolomite movie, who comes with a bit of an attitude. And this is also a great return to form for Wesley Snipes as well. Now, there's a line in the film where Rudy Ray states, I want the world to know I exist. And I feel like this was the driving force for director Craig Brewer's approach with Dolomite Is My Name. He had big hair, big energy, and big dreams. It's a reminder and a really uh, an appreciation for Rudy Ray Moore and his legacy in the black exploitation genre. The closing credits include snippets from the real Dolomite movie that we saw them making in this movie. Eddie Murphy is a comedy treasure, and it's great to see him back in prime form while showcasing Rudy Ray Moore at the same time. It's now streaming on Netflix, and I give it four out of five ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have new reviews of movies like Jojo Rabbit. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, uh, for interviews from the Twin Cities Film Fest. Thank you so much for watching my review of Dolomite Is My Name. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.